Hey, what's up guys? Merry Christmas to everybody and a Happy New Year for those of you all who will be watching the video in 2020 and beyond. Today's video is basically to demonstrate how you can be able to sync your MSI RGB products. For my product, I will be syncing the lights on the MSI RTX 2080 graphics card using the Razer Synapse software. Oops, I don't have it open. Yes, Razer Synapse software, right? Via Chroma Connect to control the RGB lights and allow it to sync with music. This video, I, um, I will also be controlling the RGB lights from my G-Skill Trident Z RAM with the software as well right and i will basically play a few songs to show you all how the effects work right with razor chroma connect you can basically um you can basically control different effects options ambient awareness audio meter breathing fire right i'll go through it in detail with you just now all right here we go so as you can see i am on razor's website on the chroma workshop page and this page shows all the different products which have entered the ecosystem of razor such as as we scroll below as rock biostar deep cool g scale and msi from the lights in your pc case to the ones that are on your that are on your walls so for this video we will try to sync the MSI RTX 2080 graphics card and my G-Skill Trident Z Royal memory using the Razer Chroma software. The first step is to open MSI Mystic Lite and you click the off next to game sync button. Not the one near the rainbow section off button. This is because even if you click this off button here, the application is still somewhat connected to the graphics card or motherboard etc so you need to turn that off or else it will not work then you open the razor synapse software go to chroma connect if you do not have this option you will have to download chroma connect through the razor synapse software go to devices and you will see Chroma Connect toggle button and MSI Mystic Lite below it. You can switch this on or off if you want to use the MSI Mystic Lite. So the software will not clash with each other. But as we have the Mystic Lite turned off, you can go ahead and keep it on. Go to Chroma Studio and here you can control the RGB lighting effects. The various options are ambient awareness, audio meter, breathing, fire, reactive, and a few common others, which are we are all too familiar with in 2019. We are only interested in the audio meter for this video. So basically, you select an effect and then click on the MSI Mystic Light circle here, and you can change the audio meter color. Properties such as boost. You can keep it automatic or manual, adjust it, and adjust the sound decay. Finally, you click save and your product should be set to respond to the sound. Now, I will demonstrate a few songs from the YouTube audio library to show how the effects work. You can enjoy. <laughs> Basically, with your Synapse software, you can control the boost and the amount of decay present in the GPU. Right. Oh, that's more nice. Let me just change up the colors a little bit. This is this color properties sticky. The 
development of the MSA graphics card is a little bit underwhelmed. Then. RAM seems to be doing more action than the graphics card to be honest. For some reason the Razer software cannot actually um the Razer software cannot properly control the RGB lights on the graphics card. But nonetheless it's always it's always fun to get your MSI lights synced to some type of music software. I don't have a vertical mount, but if I do, this might have looked really nice. In the decay, let's see what that does. Increase boost to 